Hi guys and welcome to a new video, so today I got the Galaxy S8 and the S9 Plus with me and today we are going to change the whole interface of these two phones, so stay tuned for that. So you may remember that Samsung had launched an app back in 2016 called GoodLock. So together with this app you were able to change your system UI. So you were able to change your notification panel and you were also able to change your recent app section. And this year Samsung has launched a similar app to that which is also called GoodLock. And this year you can do even more with this app. Um, so I'm going to install all these things on the Galaxy S8 and then we are going to compare it to the normal interface of the Samsung Galaxy S9. So yeah, now let me show you how to install it. So this here is the XDA page of the GoodLock app and here you can basically download all the files you need to install this app on your phone. So here is the zip file, so basically press on there and say download. As you can see now it's downloading all the APKs in the zip file. Then go back and also install the app called um, Quick Shortcut Maker and say install. Right, while the app is installing we, are, uh, we need to open the zip file over here and extract all the APKs in there. So basically say unzip open the folder and install all of these APKs. So press on there, say install, and basically repeat this with all other APKs over here. So now I've already installed all of these APKs over here and you can also see that the recent apps panel has been changed already. So here we can see the new recent apps section here which looks really similar to the recent apps panel of Android Oreo so this is a really really nice thing in my opinion you can see it works it works really smooth but now we are going to take a short look on uh, all other things which we got so to open these things you basically need to open quick shortcut maker from here and now we need to find um, all the APKs which we have installed so basically scroll down until you see an APK which we have installed. So here we have Edge Touch, so you can basically press on there, press here and say try to open this app basically. And Edge Touch it is an app made for all phones having an Edge screen like the Galaxy S8 or the S7 Edge. And this will basically block your Edge screen. So you, if you um, say add Edge Zone from here, you can basically blo block some Edge Zones. For example, if you hold your hands, if you hold your phone in, in with your right hand, you can see sometimes your hand is touching on the screen here and this will basically block uh, the edge touch so you can basically block some zones from here to prevent unwanted touches on your screen now let's go back and try another app here we have something called edge lightning plus so if you open this one here you can see um okay this didn't launch for some reason let's go and try this one here okay this didn't launch neither Let's try the last one from here. And here you can see that this is the normal edge lighting of, um, of the Samsung Galaxy S8 running on Android Oreo. You can change the width and so on. So there's actually not there's actually nothing new. You can see you can change the style of your edge lighting. So I'm not quite sure if you can see it. But it looks quite decent. Now let's go back. And scroll down so here we have the good lock app but the thing is that the good lock app doesn't work on um, normal ROM so if you uh, own a Korean Amazon Galaxy S8 with a Korean firmware or if you live in Korea um, you can basically use this good lock app instead of this app which we are using right now and yeah now let's scroll down 
and here we have the most interesting thing which is called quick star so if we say try over here you can see that we got three different options so let's start with the first one here we can basically change the coloring of your notification panel so you can see that this is the normal notification panel we, we have also got the same on the galaxy s9 plus over here and with this here we can basically change the color of your notification panel so here you can change it to pink for example you can see that the colors have been changed right now and you can also change it to a darker color from here let's say apply and here you can see that it has got darker the background has been blurred as you can see and the notification panel itself is a little bit transparent and there's also something called my coloring so this is the most um, crazy one so here you can change the notification panel just like you want so you can change the color one which is um, which are the toggles which are turned on as you can see now let's say uh, green or let's say yellow green yellow something there then the second color is uh, everything else the toggles which are not turned on let's set them to white and let's change the background color to red so let's say save and apply and you can see that the notification panel has got a really nice color looks like um, Iron Man on this case here and you can also edit this again and um, change the transparency and let's say save here you can see that now you got the transparent notification panel which looks also really amazing the sad thing is that you cannot change the style of your notifications so the notifications will also will always be white um, you can also add and blur effect over here let's say save and apply you can see now you have blurred out the background and you can also change or turn on or, or turn off the dim effect let's say save and apply now you can see the background isn't dimmed hasn't got dimmed and um, actually it's really hard to use but if you um, select a dark color for example black and if you say save and apply you can now you can see everything which is turned on right now so this works really really great so now let's go back and let's go to the simple indicator section from here so here you can basically enable or disable some icons of your status bar so for example you can see that I have no sim card installed on my Samsung Galaxy S8 and that's why I got this symbol over there and this basically annoys me a lot so I want to turn off that icon from there so what I need to do is to turn off this here and basically to turn off the mobile data signal icon as you can see the mobile data icon has been gone um, you can do the same with all other items at the top so you can also disable the time for example and you can see the time is gone now and you can see the time here in the status bar for example so this is a really nice feature if we want to get a clean status bar you can also turn off everything so let's try that quickly and now you can see everything has been gone there's nothing left and on the left corner we got our notification icons so this is a really really um, simple or a really clean status bar right now there's also something called notification multi window so this will basically allow you to um, open the multi window directly from your notifications so if you turn off this one here you can see that you have a new option on your notifications that will allow you to open this app in multi window mode unfortunately as you can see this does not work with the Google Play Store which I have right now and I don't have any other um, notification at the moment but this is a really really simple feature right now let's go back and try something different from here so um, let's scroll down and here you can see we have something called task manager so let's try this one here and here you can see the new um, Android P task manager so you can also disable this one here as you can see now we have the old Android Oreo um, task manager you can also say list view from here which is also working really great but now let's turn it off uh, turn it on and here you can change the um, scroll effect which is really nice so you can say cube and you can see now you got a different animation here so this is really really crazy and um, let's try linear so you can see this looks more like the Apple um, task manager 
and let's try rotation down and here you can see it works really really great so you can see it's really smooth there are no legs etc and yeah you can also enable the mini mode you can see now you got um, your recent app items at the bottom and yeah so this is really really great and here you can also press on the icons to get more information so you can basically lock the app so if you lock the app the app uh, won't be cleaned if you press on close all you can also hide the content here so this is all also a really nice feature and um, you can also go to the app info or, or open this app in the pop-up view so here you can see it works really really great and yeah so there's also an app called one hand operation plus so this will basically help you to use your phone with one hand and you can see if you turn on this feature over here you can see a new bar at the edge of your phone so it's not that easy to see because of my broken glass but you can see you have a new bar just like the edge bar and here you can basically um, customize your bar you can customize the transparency the size the position so let's set it to the bottom here and um, let's set the touch sensitivity to a smaller value over here and yeah so this is basically a back button so every time when you do this gesture here you can see this will operate as a back button so let's go to the settings let's go to developer options for example and every time when you do this gesture here your phone will basically or this will basically be your simple back gesture so you don't need a navigation bar anymore so you can basically turn off the navigation bar from here and you can do this gesture or you can use this navigation bar here or use this gesture to close your apps or to go back so this is a really nice feature and as you can see you don't need the navigation bar anymore right guys now let us conclude what we got um, so first of all we got the new recent apps panel which you can customize in different ways so this here is the Android P style recent apps panel for Samsung Oreo devices which works really great as you can see which is really smooth here we got the old list view or this card stack, stack view or this thumbnail view so we can see this here is the old version which was um, just like in stock Oreo and this here is the new Android P style recent apps panel on your Galaxy S8 or any other Oreo device if you don't like this Android P style you can also turn off the recent apps section and use all other features of the good Lock app right now let's go back we also got a new notification panel over here you can also customize this notification panel just like you want you can see you got a blurred background from here uh, over here you can change all the colors just like you want so this is a really nice thing and you also got three new um, quick toggles here for your good luck features you can basically enable this good luck this one hand operation from here or disable or enable the edge touch block thing over there right so this here is the new notification panel and we also got our new gesture here or our gesture bar so every time when we go to the settings for example you basically need to do this here to go back and you can also hide the, the navigation bar so you don't need to open the navigation bar and press on the back button on this one here we basically don't have this um, gesture bar anymore so every time when you um, close the navigation bar here come on you need to pull up the navigate you need to pull up the navigation bar and press on the back button so here you need to do two actions and here you basically need to swipe so this is a really really nice thing yeah so this should be it guys if you liked this video give a thumbs up if you didn't like this video give a dislike as always and peace out